This is Ram Man. I'm back. Hit that cash out. Dollar sign. Ram 8239. Let's go. Giving you quality content. Yes. This topic right here, I'm talking about one of my women I dated in Colombia. Yes, that's right. One of my women I dated in Colombia. will tell you this story time. Okay. Now, one of my women I dated in Colombia, specifically in Medellin. Now, I have been with her for years. She soft-spoken, feminine, submissive, you know, and she take care of her hygiene. And also, the cultural values a lot of the Colombian women have that actually, if you never experienced this as a man, you from the United States, you might not know about this, but like she used to like bathe me and stuff like that. As far as taking a shower, she'll, you know, clean me, all this type of stuff. After we finish getting it in, you know what I'm saying? Like, this happened like every single time we got it in. You know what I'm saying? She would take the time to get me everything I needed, you know, as far as cleaning my areas off, you know what I'm saying? Then taking me to the shower, washing me down. You know, hey, we might get it in in the shower again, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yes, she cooked for me all the time. You know what I'm saying? She would cook. You know, if I would tell her just to only cook two times a day, that's what she would do. But, you know, if I just say cook anything you want, I eat it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, she'll cook three times a day. But more so, I would want her to, when I was staying in the apartment with her, when I was living in Medellin, Colombia, she would cook, like I say, every single day. And she worked from home, too. So, yeah, as far as taking care of me, showering with me, or showering me, washing me down, all right, giving me back massages when I needed it. Um, then clipping my basically giving me manicures and shit like clipping my toenails you know cleaning my nails you know all types of different shit like that you know she would look out for me like that like the femininity you know what I'm saying you experience with those women in Colombia just in uh, I would say South America in general because I had a chica in Ecuador she was very, very similar, but I mean, she worked a job, you know, where she would go to and stuff. We didn't get to spend that much time together, but the time we did spend together, I mean, she would cook for me when she had time and give me massages, things like that. And, you know, way we get in, you know, things of that nature. But specifically, I want to keep talking about Dane in Colombia with my woman I have been with for years. Like this already going on three years. But yes, those different things. Like the femininity, the cooperativeness. Now I ain't saying our relationship was perfect or nothing like that. Our relationship, you know, no relationship is just perfect. But the things she would do like now back in the past now i would had women some women do these type of things too like temporarily but with with her she have done it more than any other any other woman i would have got with before she takes the cake you know 
So that's why I'll label this video story time. Dating in Columbia, specifically, like my experiences. Then my experience with my other women I have been with in other cities too. Let's say like I have a woman, a young chica, 23 years old. Well, she, now she's 23. I don't get to see her that often, but when I go down there, she make time to come see me for a day or two. And we have a good time. She always cooks for me. I mean, we get it in. You know what I'm saying? She go to school to learn English as well. And she also work a job in the city. So, yeah. I had a good experience with different women there. Besides my main woman, I'd have been with for over three years now. And yes, Dane in Columbia. Like I say, me and her, we'd have been to different cities in Columbia together. You know, with her doing all this for me and holding me down for all this time, you know, I will definitely go out my way to do things for her, take her different places when I'm there, or get her things because she proven herself to the to these different levels. You know. So yeah, like I say, this video is just story time for you men and, and women too, basically like. But specifically, man, you know, if you dating, if you want to experience a better life of dating, it's out of the United States. Go to a different country and check it out for yourself. And I'm going to tell you my countries, especially Colombia and Ecuador. <laughs> Definitely, man. Well, I would say Panama, too. I had. A couple good experiences in Panama too. But when I first got, got there, I met a, a woman at the hotel I was staying too. It was just uh it was like a coincidence, you know what I'm saying? And she worked as a cleaning lady. And when she went to come clean my room, that's when we met up and she gave me her number. She was all into me, feeling me. So I was like, Yeah, we're gonna have to get together. Let me see what's up with you, you know. And she could speak English, um, you know, pretty decent. So we got together. And, you know, we had a couple of drinks and stuff like that. But this was back in 2019 when that happened. But, yeah, I got the experience. Um, a Panamanian chica there. You know, we talked for a bit and yeah, we had a good time. I got to meet uh, one of her friends. She was from, uh, I think, Thailand or something like that. But she was living in Panama at the time. So, yeah. But yeah, I just want to drop that story to you guys. All right. This is Red Man. I'm out. Peace out.